All right, what's up everyone? As you can see from the top left hand corner, Minecraft has been updated to 1.3. Of course, you probably already knew that because you clicked on the video. But, <clears throat> all right, let's talk about some of the changes. First, something I can't show you is the new launcher. Now, to get the new launcher, you go to Minecraft.net and go to the download section and download it just like you did for when you originally got Minecraft. Um, just replace that executable file with your old one and you'll be able to run it with the new launcher. New launcher basically has the patch notes. Um, they'll be able to just throw in some stuff, updates or whatever, um, <coughs> whatever's happening then, whatever they want to do really. Um, and so yeah, it's a cool little thing. Um, next change is a new save file format. So as you can see, go into here, you now have a scroll wheel and you can have multiple worlds. A lot more than five. I'm not sure if there's a limit now, um, I think it's, I think it may be infinite, like as many worlds as will fit on your hard drive. But as you can see, these old worlds down here say must be converted. So what happens is that, um, your old files, your old worlds are fine. You just select them and play the old world for the first time and it will automatically convert it as it's loading up. So it will convert it and then load up. And the new save file format is supposed to, what I heard, supposed to load the world seven times faster which is nice especially if you have really big worlds and it's supposed to um be saved in a lot less files so if you ever saw the actual number of files that the old file system used to save it as it was a lot of files so now let's get into it the actually let's show you some other stuff you can rename them obviously create new world you can have new world and then seed generator i'm not sure or seed for the world generator. I'm not sure what this is quite yet, but I can tell you that I tested it out and I put desert as a uh, seed and thinking that maybe it's a biome that you spawn in. And I don't know if this was a coincidence or not, but right next to my spawn point was a huge desert biome. So that's cool if that has anything to do with that. But another thing is I created another world um, right after that and put desert in and uh, for the seed and it was the exact same desert exact same um different spawn point but exact same uh world even though it's a different world if you know what i'm saying all right so you go in um the texture packs and stuff also have a scroll wheel now too so let's go into the main world and show you some of the other stuff all right so right off the bat you can tell that there's a bed right here and this is a cool, sort of cool little thing. Um, so you make a bed by putting three planks like this. And then three wool on top of that. And you got a bed. So I'm not going to actually get that because I already have one in my inventory too. So you come over here. And you notice that if you walk, you can't walk right over it like you can to a half block. And in a little bit, I'll show you that half blocks are just a tad shorter. So I think they raised the bed up a little bit just so you wouldn't be able to walk over it. Which is, eh, I don't really care. But, so the main thing about the bed is that um, at nighttime, you can right click on it, like so. And it will switch to this view and fade out. And when it spawn oh, or when it pops back up, it will be, it'll be right next to the bed in daytime. Now the thing is, if you have, I don't know if this is a bug or what, but if you have two beds next to each other like that, and you are on a higher difficulty where um, monsters spawn, as you can see I'm on peaceful right now, um, a monster will spawn next to you. Like, it'll fade out like it just did, but you'll wake up still in the middle of the night and there will be a monster spawn next to you in, this, in the other bed. Huh. So, I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. The way it's happening, I'm assuming it's a feature. I'm um, not sure, though. Because it's just kind of funny that, like, you wake up and there's a monster sleeping next to you. 
Even though he's not sleeping, he's trying to attack you, but whatever. Alright, so you got that, and if you try to do it during the daytime, it says you can only sleep at night. So, also, I'm not running any mods right now, since all the mods aren't updated for the new update. Um, but you can tell that there's some ambient occlusion going on over here. And all the lighting is nicer. So, this is the new thing that they have. Apparently Notch worked with Mr. Mis Mr. Messiah, the person you may recognize um, from the Better Light mod, Better Grass mods, stuff like that. So now if you go into the menu or the options, you can see that it's changed around a bit, as you may have saw in a little bit earlier. Go into video settings and you can have all the video settings, or yeah, video settings right here. Smooth lighting is what we're talking about. So this is the old way. And go into it now, turn it on. And now you have ambient inclusion on, built into the game, which is very nice. Um, also, now let's go over here. Actually, I'll show you this real fast. So now we have three new half blocks. So you got a cobble half block, a sandstone half block, and a wooden half block. Along with the common uh, smooth stone half block. Now the way you create this is simple. The smooth stone half block is now created with actual smooth stone instead of cobble so you make it like that uh, do the rest the same way you put cobble three cobble right there three sandstone right there or three wooden planks right there and it will make the half blocks so there's a little bit it's a little bit buggy um, the wooden one is apparently represented as being uh, a rock or something so if you try to do it with a hatchet or an axe it won't really chop and when it does chop, see, actually, you can see the particles flying off. It's like a rock. So it looks just like a reskinned um, half block. All right. Also, this is now fixed. So if you have a double one, double any of them, actually. Um, these actually look normal. It's not any different when you double stack them. They just look like they're uh, bigger brothers, unlike this one. So you chop them and now it pops out too like it sh was supposed to before alright so that's fixed that's nice now let's move on to the redstone repeater so you make a redstone repeater by putting uh, what is it three smooth stone like this a redstone dust in the middle and two redstone torches on either side so that's how you make it and then I have a little demonstration set up right here with some note blocks so this is what it looks like basically the stationary torch right here without the little stripe is uh, the output and this side is the input side so you have to have it going in this direction so the inputs going in this direction and it's going out that you can't have it in any other direction or it won't work so you right click it and you'll see that little switch right there flips or it slides so this is changing the delay of it so this is basically right here is no delay it goes right through, acts just like a, repeat, a repeater, just like a redstone torch. But, um, if you set a delay, let's put it as max delay, then have that one almost max. Now if I hit the button, you can tell that there's a delay between the stuff. And if I were to set it to no delay, these two will go at the same time and that one will be delayed. See? Alright, so that's basically it. There's a lot more I can get into with it, but I don't have all the time in the world to explain everything. Alright, so now there's also new cameras in the game. Um, along with your regular F5 to go behind you and your F1 to get rid of the HUD, these are now toggled. So F5 was toggled before. You can just walk around like this without having to hold it. Now F1, you just hit it. I'm not holding anything down right now. It's toggled on. So if you're trying to do some machinima or make a video without the HUD, um, it's easier now. You don't have to tape down that button. Also, they have I don't know if they meant to do this, but um, the thing where you hit F5 and then F1 is now gone. So all that does is get rid of the HUD from behind you. It doesn't actually show the front of you. Unless... Hmm. 
No, okay. It's testing something out. So all the F stuff is toggle now. Also, I don't know if this is new or not, but let's try to find an animal. I hear a chicken. Chicken, where are you? Come on, little chicken. Don't be camera shy. All right, what's up with all the animals? Come on. Come on. Aw. They're all hiding from me. Is that an animal? No. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, there's one. All right, a lot. Okay. So F3, as you can tell before, it did this. Um, this is also toggle 2. But I don't know if the animals actually had little numbers above their heads before. Um, that may be old, I'm not sure, but I never saw him before. Kind of freaked me out the first time because I was looking down and I saw a little uh, box over there. It made me think that someone was on my world, which is really strange since it's single player. Um, but yeah. So, got that. That's toggle toggleable? Is that a, is that a word? I don't know. Alright, but also, another cool thing... Um, is the smooth camera so now you come over here let's go let's get rid of the HUD and now look around see it responds instantly um, one on one with the mouse movement so see it's all jerky because I'm moving the mouse around a lot so if you hit F8 it will smooth it out see how it's doing it and it will continue to pan until it slowly comes to a halt even after I stop the mouse. So that's nice. So here, let me do this shot. Let's say if you're recording a video and you wanted a smooth shot like this. All right. Now I'm going to put F8 and then record it. Exact same movement. My hand was in the exact same motion and it was much smoother. So that's very nice for the machinima makers out there. All right, now there's also whitelisting added to the server. So now that is a default feature and with the server client, um, you don't have to have an extra mod attached to it. And pretty sure that's it for this video. If I have any more changes, I'll insert them now. And if I didn't forget anything, you just didn't see anything right there. <laughs> All right, so, um, that's pretty much all I can think of. If you like this video, if you like the updates, subscribe. I'll have I have a daily let's play that I put out and um yeah, so if you care to see a Minecraft let's play, subscribe to my channel, I'll put a video out daily like I just said, and I'll also have all the updates coming out as soon as they come out. Have so you can see all the changes just like this video. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Like the video, subscribe if you like the video, and I will catch y'all later. Alright, peace.